Good morning, YouTube, Facebook, and everybody else watching this video. I'm Derek Lipsky, and uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to do another expired call. Now, um, typically in the morning, I call a lot of these homes that come off the market. If your home didn't sell, there's a good chance I'm going to give you a call and uh, see if you want to sell. And uh, we're going to kind of go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and actually do a live call so we can hear it. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm looking. Hi, this is Derek. Hi, this is Derek from Keller Williams. I'm looking for Paul. Uh, this is Paul. Hey, Paul. Just giving me a quick call. I was uh, looking on MLS last night, and I saw that you had a home for sale, and it sort of popped up off the market as an expired listing. Hey, did you sell that, or is that still for sale? No, we're not doing anything right now, Derek. Oh, you guys are just gonna hold on to it for a little longer? Oh, not a problem at all. I can certainly appreciate that. Hey, Paul, let me ask you because, I mean, I know the neighborhood you're in, and I saw the home was on the market for about 300 days. Does that sound about right? Yeah, 306 days, and nothing happened. So we're, oh. at this point, we're just going to hold off right now. Yeah, no, I understand, Paul. I mean, totally, make, totally makes sense to me. Hey, in the time you were on the market, did you get any offers on that at all? Uh, we had a lot of interest up in the front when we first got the uh, listing going, but... You know, I don't know what you guys are doing anyways. You know, we're, we're on the market this whole time, and you guys uh, are all calling me now, bugging me, telling me that, that uh, you can get the home sold now. I mean, where, where the heck was everybody when we had the property listed to make these phone calls? Right, exactly. So if I hear what you're saying correctly, you're like, where are all, all the agents that are calling now, where have you been for the 306 days I've had my home on the market? Exactly. If you could sell it, why didn't you sell it when it was on the market? Right. You know, Paul, we're not allowed to, I mean, and that's an honest question, and, and here's the answer to that. We're not allowed to actually call you until the home is off the market. Even if we see something that we think is not right, that I would change differently, I'm not allowed to step on that broker's toes and, and say anything to you. But as soon as I saw it come off the market last night, I saw an opportunity, and I wanted to give you a quick call to find out what your plans are for getting this home sold. I mean, Paul, let me ask you, if there was a different approach that could give you different results, would you relift the home? Okay. I mean, at this point, Derek, um, you know, you guys are all calling me, make, you know, saying the same thing about, you know, getting the home sold this time around. We're just, uh, we're just holding off. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it makes sense, Paul, and I certainly don't mean to upset you. You know, let me ask you, if the home sells for you, or when I should say when it sells for you, where are you planning to move next? Well, we were headed to South Carolina, and, um, and, and that's what we're doing, so. Oh, South Carolina, that's exciting. What takes you down there? No, and, and yeah, absolutely, Paul. I, I can clearly hear you saying that. Hey, just a quick question: what, what was the time frame for you guys to get down to South Carolina? Besides, three hundred six days ago. Well, when we got down there, I mean, uh, you know, we're not one of these people desperate to uh, unload our house and give the price away. Right. I'm okay. not doing that. I'm totally not doing that. Okay, now that's fair. So you, what you're saying to me is, if it takes three, four, five, six months, you're flexible there. We're going to South Carolina, Derek. But at this point, the uh, the property selling, you know, I, I, we're just we just think we might need a break from, from all this. Yeah, I mean, if I was on the market for 306 days, I'd want a break too, Paul. That's absolute. I, I guess I'm just curious. I mean, I've seen the price of the home. I saw how long it was on the market and all the rest of it. Hey, how did you happen to pick the last agent you listed with? Well, it's somebody who had, uh, you know, was sending a lot of uh, material to us over over the last couple of years in the mail, and you know, we know they sold some properties, so. We, uh, you know, we, we, we brought them in. Okay. So they sent you some mails that kept you up to date what was going on, and so you brought them in. Yeah. Perfect. They, you know, they, they, I knew that they specialized in, in higher-end homes, and, um, you know, how many $800,000 homes have you sold? <laughs> well, that's a good question, Paul. I'm, I'm sure you're asking that because you want someone that, number one, sells these kind of homes, maybe lives in a home like this and appreciates the kind of home this is, right, and can sell to somebody else. That, you know, it makes sense to me, and so if, if we get together and meet, I'll make sure I go through your property with a fine-tooth comb, tell you everything that I would appreciate about living in a home like this. If there's anything missing, you can fill in what you think is what's worth putting in the listing, and that way there, if we put a listing on the market, we'll make sure that a buyer sees all the value of this property. Sound good? Well, Derek, you know, at, at this point, you know, again, I, I said I, I think we're 
that we're we're going to hold off. And, and, and you know, I, I've sold homes before in the past myself. Sure. And um, and, and getting this thing, uh, you know, giving this thing a shot on my own is, is not something that's out of my out of my uh, abilities. I mean, you, you guys only put homes on the market and, and and put them up on the internet and you know all that stuff. I, I know I know what happens, what you guys do, and uh, we're pretty comfortable giving it a shot on our own. No, no, absolutely, Paul, and I understand, and if, you know, you certainly can do that. I mean, if, if that's all it took just to get a home on the market, stick on the internet, and then go from there, um, you know, that's what all, a lot of the other agents are doing. Uh, what do you think, what kind of results most agents are getting with that approach? I don't know, but I mean, it's not that difficult. Right. Well, I guess what I'm saying is that, you know, I can appreciate that you want to do whatever it's going to take to get this property sold, but quite honestly, that's probably, out of all the approaches, that's going to be the least effective one for you. Can I explain? Well, the only buyers that are out there buying right now are those are the ones that are working with agents. These are the ones that have just sold their homes and have to buy. These are the ones that have been relocating to this area and have already been set up with an agent from their company. Uh, in this marketplace where there's so many homes for sale, Paul, the for sale by owners really get lost in the shuffle. So that would probably be the last approach that suggest on getting your home sold. Uh, see, here's the thing. If you decide you want me to come out there and get a, take a look at your home meet with you, that's okay. If you don't, that's okay too. I, I have a, lots of clients I work with. And, and, and people I'm working with now, and I just gave you a call because I know the kind of home you are, you have there, and frankly, I saw a lot of them, and I think I can help you. So what I'm going to do is come down and meet with you for five or ten minutes to see if what I'm doing works for you. Are you available today at four, or would tomorrow five be better for you, Paul? Well, Derek, I, you know, I, I appreciate what you're saying to to um, uh, you know, make these calls, and, and you seem like a pretty aggressive guy. You know, I've talked to a lot of schmucks today. Okay. But, um, why don't we do this? I, I need to talk to my wife, anyways, about about what exactly our plans are, and um, you know why, why don't you why don't you give me a call back in a couple of weeks? Uh, okay. Well, I can certainly I can certainly do that. But what you want is to make as much as possible. Is that correct? Well, that's what we want. But you know, we've been we've been pulled every which way but loose the last. You know, I, we don't know what reality is anymore. Well, you guys want to get the home sold, and you're talking with an agent who sells as many or more homes than anybody else in the neighborhood, and is going to do things differently than your past agent. I mean, I would think both you and your wife would want to hear what I'd have to say. I'm not going to spend a lot of time with you guys. It's going to only take me about 15, maybe 20 minutes, depending on how many questions you have. Why don't I just come by a little bit later? If you're going to be there at 6, I can pop by a little later. It's not a big deal for me. If I, I'll take a look at the home. If it's something I feel I can get sold, I'll tell you. If not, I'll tell you inside of five, ten minutes. It won't take me any longer than that. Well, I mean, I'm willing to listen to what you have to say. Well, I, you know, bottom line is very important to us. So what's your commission anyways? I mean, what, what are you charging when, you, when, you're, uh, when you're selling homes in these areas? You know, it's a great question, Paul. It's negotiable based on what work needs to be done. But let me ask you something. Are you prepared to uh, uh, negotiate a commission that's going to be fair for you? fair for me, and cause the home to sell. Well, I want the home to sell, but be, again, uh, bottom line is important. So, you know, what, what is it going to be? Well, it, you know, we'll have to negotiate that, but let me ask you, what's more important to you, um, the commission you pay or your net? My net. Right. So why don't we cover it today at 5 o'clock when I, I'll pop in, talk to both your wife. I'll make sure it's the first thing I cover when I meet with you. And then if you guys like what I have to say from there, we can fill some paperwork, get the home back on the market, and get you guys moving to South Carolina. I, 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 my reputation is not for BS. In fact, it's for getting home sold. Wanted to come by today at 5. I'll talk to you and your wife. You guys are going to be able to feel me out whether I'm a BS or not. If you feel I'm not one and you think my plan is going to work better than what happened last time, would you give me the opportunity to list a home and work with you? All right, well, I mean, I'll take a look at it, but I'm not, I'm not planning on listing my home with you when you come out. I understand that, Paul, and I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I'm not going to promise to list your home when you come out because it might be a home that I don't think I can get sold. So let's just take a look, see if we can help each other, and then go from there. Fair enough? That's fair. I'll see you at 4 o'clock, Paul. All right, thanks. Thanks, buddy. Bye-bye. Okay, so there's a home right there that he was a definite no at the whole way. He did not want me to even do anything. I pushed through it, got the appointment, and I'm going to go down there. And I'm going to call him back. He sounds like a tough guy. I'm going to do the comps. But if it's home I think it can get sold, it's going to be a payday for me. So see you on the next one.